Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and status pro baseball fans. Here with another, it's me, Sportsman Z, here with another status pro game for you. Today it's going to be the 1978 Orioles at the 1978 Red Sox. And uh, just so that you know, here's the lineups. Uh, you've got Pat Kelly leading off for the Orioles, who will be the visiting team. He's playing center field. Then Singleton is in right field. Eddie Murray at first. And then Lee May at DH. Doug DeSensei at third. Carlos Lopez in left. Rich Dower at second. Dempsey at catcher. And Belanger at shortstop. And there you can see their ratings as well. Give you a second to look at those. And now you got the Red Sox lineup. They're going to line up as Burleson at short, Evans in right field, Freddie Lynn in center, Carlton Fisk at catcher, Yaz in left, Jim Rice at DH, George Scott at first base, Butch Hobson at third, Brohammer at second. And today's pitching matchup is going to be Palmer for the 1978 Orioles and Tiant for the 1978 Red Sox. Both of those men are uh, 13s on their uh, reduction rating. Um, Jim Palmer is a 2 to 8 in charge on the plays, and Louis Tiant is a 2 to 7. And so, with all of that out of the way, we're going to get on with the game. Um, and in disclaimers, I play with uh, my own house rules. Uh, I have a Status Pro, um, a new twist on playing Status Pro uh, video out, and I will link to that in the uh, end screen if you're curious as to what I do for my house rules. But um, we will get on with the game. So you got Pat Kelly leading off for the Orioles, and uh, he gets a six, and that will be with Keon in charge, and that is a 46, and a 46 on Tion is an out. Pat Kelly is an LP, and LP is all go F7. So there's one away. That brings up Singleton. One down, nobody on for the Orioles. That is a three. Tion is in charge, but it's a 16, and that is going to be a base hit of some kind. It is a base hit to center field. So Singleton is aboard, and that reduces uh, Tion by one. Eddie Murray is up. That's an 11, and an 11 is a CD, and we will see what happens there. And that was a double play, so Eddie Murray hits into a double play, and that ends the inning. And uh, we will go to the bottom of the first. No score in the game so far. And Rick Burleson will lead off for the Red Sox against Jim Palmer. That is a five. Palmer is in charge. It is a 73, so that's going to be an out, and he is an RN. RN is a G4A, so that is to the second baseman. And we will see about an error. There's a possible error, but there isn't, so it's an out. So Rick Burleson goes four to three for the first out. Dwight Evans is up. Dwight Dewey Evans, the right fielder for the Red Sox. That is a seven. So uh, Palmer is in charge and it is a 28. And a 28 on Palmer's card is a strikeout. So there's two down. Dwight Evans K's and that brings up Freddie Lynn, the center fielder for the Red Sox. 
and uh, that is going to be a five and it is on Palmer's card and it's a 14 which is a center field single to center field or center single to left field so Fred Lynn gets a single that reduces uh, Palmer by one and Carlton Fisk gets, it. Carlton Fisk gets a six it's on his card it's on uh, Palmer's card and it is a 16. That's going to be a base hit. That's a center, uh, a single to center field. So we've got back-to-back -back hits now off of um, Palmer. And uh, two are on with two down and Yastrzemski up at the plate. And that's going to be an 8. And Palmer is in charge on that. And it is a 58. And 58 is going to be an out. Yastrzemski is an LP. And that is all go F9, so he flies out to right field, and that ends the inning for the Red Sox. We go to the top of the second inning with Lee May, the batter. So Lee May steps in, takes his cuts, gets a five. That is on um, Tion's card, and it is a 33, and a 33 on Tion's card is a strikeout. So Lee May with a, with a K. Lee May with the K. Doug DeSensei is up. That's an 11, and it's going to be a CD, but we ignore the CD, and we will just move on, and it is going to be on the batter's card, on DeSensei's card, and it is a 51, and a 51 is a walk. So there's a one-out walk, DeSensei gets a board, and that reduces Tiant by another one. Carlos Lopez up. That is a three. It's on Tion's card, but it's a 14, and a 14 is a single to left field. So Lopez gets a, gets a hit. That reduces uh, Tion to 10. And Rich Dower is up with one out and runners at first and second. That is an 11. That is going to be a CD. Okay, Dower double, uh, hit into a double play, and so that ended the inning, and we go to the bottom of the second inning with the Red Sox up and Jim Rice, the batter. In a 0-0 game in the bottom of the second between the 1978 Orioles and the 1978 Red Sox. That is a 6, and so Palmer's in charge, and it is a 75, and that is an out, and he is an RP, and that goes F2. So that is going to be a foul out to the catcher. And there's one down with George Scott up. That is a seven, so that is on Palmer's card, and it is a 32, and that is a walk. So George Scott gets aboard with a walk with one out. And that reduces uh, Palmer to 10. Butch Hobson is up. Butch Hobson gets a five. That is on Palmer's card, and it's a 26, and that's going to, maybe, it's going to be a strikeout. No, that's not something. That's a strike. It is something, but it's a strikeout. So, Hobson is the second out of the inning, and that brings up Brohammer with a man at first and two down. And that is an eight, and it is on Palmer's card. He's in charge, but it's a 37, and a 37 is a wild pitch. And so the runner advances to second, and we will roll again. And that is a seven. It's still on Palmer's card, and this time it's a 36, and that is a pass ball, and that advances the runner to third. And we will roll again. So Brohammer is hasn't even had to take the uh, bat off of his shoulder, and there's already a runner at third base, and that's a four. That is on Palmer's card, and it's a 25, 
and that is a strikeout. So finally, after all of that, Brohammer strikes out and no runs come in for the Red Sox. And we go to the top of the third inning. And I'm not sure, I guess I'm going to advance it too. So the Palmer's down to eight. I don't know if the pass ball and the uh, wild pitch um, do that. But if they don't, they don't. But anyway, we'll play it by ear from here. Rick Dempsey is up in the top of the third. That is a seven, so Tiant is in charge, and it is a 46, and on a 46, that is an out, and Dempsey is an RN, and that all goes F8, so there's one away. And Dempsey flies out to the center fielder, one down, Belanger is up, the shortstop, the weak hitting shortstop, but great slick fielding shortstop for the Orioles. That is a six, and it is going to be on Tion's card, and it is a 16, or no, a 61. 61 is an out. He is an RN, and that is all go G4 with a possible error, and uh, there is no error. So the G4 is um, an out. And that goes back to the top of the order with two down and Pat Kelly, the batter. That's a three. It's on Tion's card. And it is a 13. And that's going to be a base hit to left field. So Pat Kelly with a single. And that's going to reduce uh, Tion to a nine. That brings up Ken Singleton. That's a three. It's on Tion's card, but it is a 12, and that is a base hit to left field as well. And that's two down, or that's uh, two runners on with two down. And that is another reduction for Tion, who is also now down to eight, just like Palmer is, and Eddie Murray is. And that is going to be a 10, and it is on Murray's card, and it is a 64, which is an out, and he is an SP. You will check that. SP is uh, F6. It was on his card, so we will check it for an error, and there is none. So uh, he makes the uh, third out of the inning. And there is no runs coming across for the Orioles. And we go to the bottom of the third in a 0-0 scoreless game between Jim Palmer and Louis Tian. Rick Burleson is up. He gets a five. That's going to be with um, Palmer in charge. And it is a 63, which is an out. And he is an RN. RN is a G1 with a possible error. And there is no error. So there's one down. Burleson is out, leading off the third inning. That brings up Evans, Dwight Dewey Evans. He gets a 12. So that is a BD. We'll ignore that. And so it's really just off of Evans' card. And it is a 42. And a 42 on his card is a strikeout. So Dwight Evans is out with a K. And up steps Freddie Lynn. Fred Lynn with two out and nobody on. And that's an eight. And that's going to be on um, Palmer's card. And it is a 16. So it's going to be a base hit to center field. Fred Lynn with a hit. That's going to reduce um, Palmer to seven. And that brings up Carlton Fisk. Carlton Fisk gets a seven, so it is on uh, Palmer's card. And it is a 65, which is an out. And Fisk is an RP. And that is an F7. He flies out to left field. 
And no runs come in from the Red Sox, and we go to the top of the fourth. Top of the fourth with Lee May as the, the uh, or wait a minute, yeah, yeah, with Lee May as the batter in the top of the fourth. That is an eight, and a um, eight on Tiant makes it, um, it's on Lee May's card. And it is a 36, and a 36 is a strikeout for Lee May. One away. One down, and Desensei, the third baseman for the Orioles, steps in against Tian. That is a 7, and that will be on Tian's card. And it is a 14, which is going to be a base hit to left field. So Desensei with a single. Here in the fourth, reduces uh, Tiant to a seven. And that brings up Carlos Lopez. Lopez gets a seven. That is going to be with Tiant in control. And it is a 16. That's going to be a base hit as well. A base hit to center field. So now they've got two runners on. And that reduces Tiant to six. And Rich Dower is on. Rich Dower with a 7, that is going to be with Tian in control, and it is a 64, which is an out, and Dower is a um, RN, and RN is a G6, ground ball to the shortstop with a possible error, and uh, there is none, and so, um, let's see, G6. Yes, that was a double play, so we are out of the inning, and uh, that was a 6-4, or a, yeah, 6-4-3 double play. We go to the bottom of the fourth. And Yaz will be the batter, facing Palmer. Palmer and Tiant have been really good here so far. They've been on top of their games. Carl Yastrzemski gets a 7, which is uh, Palmer in charge. And it is a 41. And a 41 is an out. And he is an LP. LP says, I'll go G5. We check for the error. And uh, 5 to 10. He is not a 5 to 10, so it's an out. Carl Yastrzemski is out. That brings up Jimmy Rice. The fielders in this game are, by and large, pretty good. Um, there is a uh, four, so that is Palmer in charge. And it is a 13, which is going to be a base hit to left field. So with one out, Jim Rice rips a single. And that reduces uh, Palmer to six. George Scott is up. George Scott gets a five. That's on Palmer's card. It is a 41. And a 41 is an out. He is an RN. RN says, I'll go G4 with a possible error. There is no error. And let me see what G4 is. That is a double play grounder, so that, they're out of the inning too. And George Scott hit into a um, four six three double play, and we will proceed to the top of the fifth inning in a scoreless game with the Orioles up and Rick Dempsey, their catcher, the batter. Against Tiant, that's a 9, so Dempsey is in charge, but it's a 77, that's an RN. RN is an F2, so he fly, he fouls out to the catcher. One down, and Mark Belanger is up. That is a 12, that is, but it's, there, it's, we're going to ignore it. It's a BD, but there's nobody on. So um, there's, that's going to be off of Belanger's card. 
and it is an 86 and he is going to be um, he's an RN that's an out he's an RN and it's an F9 so he flies out to the right fielder and with two down very quickly that brings up Pat Kelly the top of the order and the center fielder for the order that is a nine and that means he is in charge Pat Kelly is and that is a 43 and a 43 is going to be a strikeout so Pat Kelly strikes out and we have no runs coming across for the Orioles in the fifth we go to the bottom of the fifth inning with Butch hops and up he is by the way the only poor fielder in the game and there is a four that is off of Palmer's card and it is a 31 and a 31 is a strikeout right at the tail end of the strikeout so Hobson is out to lead off the, the uh, Boston fifth brings up Jack Brohammer. Jack Brohammer gets a 12 but that it is it's a BD but there's nobody on so we'll just go off of Brohammer's card and that is a 74 which is an out he's an LN and LN all goes G6 we check for the error and um, 1 to 10 so that is going to be an error and um, so Brohammer gets on by um, let's see what was that yeah that's an error by the shortstop so Brohammer gets on by an E6 there is one on and that reduces Palmer to a five and Rick Burleson is the batter yes he is with one on and one out that is a 10 and that means Bro or Burleson is in charge and it is a 41 and a 41 is an out he's an RN RN is all go F4 so he fouls out or flies out or fouls out to the second baseman and that brings up Dwight Dewey Evans and that's going to be an 11 so that's a CD and okay that was no action occurs uh, return to regular play and so we will go off of Evans's card um, and that is a 63 which is an out and he is um, an RP it says all go F2 so he he uh, also fouls out to the catcher well uh, somebody before did so that's no runs across for Boston we go to the top of the sixth inning with Singleton the batter for the Orioles both um, Palmer and Tian seem to have a little bit left in the in the tank Singleton gets a six and that is going to be Tian in charge and it is a 52 which is an out and Singleton is an SP SP is I'll go G6 uh, with an, a possible error but there is none so Singleton is out six to three still no score here between the 78 Orioles and the 78 Red Sox and Eddie Murray is up he gets a six so that is going to be um, Tion in charge and it's a 44 which is an out and Murray is an SP and SP is a G6A with a possible error and there is no error so that's an out he goes six to three as well and up steps Lee May so both pitchers are on top of their game here it's zero zero and uh, that's a six that's going to be on Tion's card and it's a 47 which is an out and Lee May is an RP and that says all go G5 with a possible error and there is no error so Lee May goes five to three and ends the Orioles sixth and we go to the bottom of the sixth inning 
with the Red Sox up at the plate. And uh, they're sending up Dwight Dewey Evans against Palmer, who has been almost nearly as good as Keon so far. That is a six. It'll be off of Palmer's card, and it's a 13, which is a base hit. So that's a single to left field for Evans. Or no, that was um, that was Lynn. That should have been Lynn. All right. So um, it's still a single to left field, though, for Lynn. And reduces uh, Palmer to a four. So he is starting to get tired. Carlton Fisk is up. No outs. Man on first. That is a six. It's on Palmer's card. And it is a 28. And a 28 is a strikeout. So there's one away. He had enough left in the tank, at least, to strike Fisk out. So there's one down with one man on at first base. And Carl Yastrzemski up. Yastrzemski gets a two, which is... Um, on going to be on Palmer's card and it is a 17 which is a base hit to center field so um, the the Red Sox here come the Red Sox they are starting to get to Palmer he only has two uh, two kicks left on his reduction rating there's one out runners at first and second Jim Rice has Jim Rice gets an 11. That is going to be a CD. My hated CD. That was no action occurs. Return to normal play. So we will just look at the, uh, the Jim Rice's card. It's an 88, which is an out. And um, we will pick the, um, the card. It's out sequence is all go G5 with a possible error. And the error is none. And so let's see if what that was first and second. So that was a force out at third. So there's there's only two out. And uh, that was Rice with a fielder's choice. And now George Scott is up. And that's a 7. That is on Palmer's card. And it is a 12, which is going to be a base hit. That's a single to center field, which will load the bases. George Scott with a hit. And um, let's see if they're going to send the runner. Um, that's Fred Lynn, and he is an OBRB. Okay, he was safe. He scores. So that is the first run. Um Hobson with the, uh, was that Hobson? Let's see. That was Hobson with the single. Or no, that was Scott, George Scott with the single. And um, Fred Lynn is the one that came around and scored on it. And that reduces Palmer down to nothing now. So everything will be off the uh, Red Sox card now. And Hobson is up. That is a six, but we're, it, it's going to be on Hobson's card. And it is a 66, which is an out. And he is an RP. And that is a fly out eight, so he flies out to center field. But the Red Sox do strike for the first run of the game in the bottom of the sixth. And um, the uh, and the Orioles are up at the plate facing Tiant, who hasn't who hasn't seemed like he wanted to give them anything so far, and he may keep doing that. Um, so let's see. Doug DeSensei up here in the top of the seventh. That is a four. It's on um, Tion's card, and it is an 82, which is going to be an out. He's an RP. RP is GX3. Check for the error. There isn't one. 
So he gets a three to one, we'll call it. And uh, that brings Carlos Lopez up with one down and nobody on. That is a seven, so that is still on Tion's card. And it is a 56, which is going to be an out. And Lopez is um, an RN. And RN says, I'll go G1 with a possible error. And there is no error, so there's two outs. And that was one to three. And Rich Dower is up. Only a few good hitters, really, in this Orioles lineup. That is a 9, so it's going to be on Rich Dower's card. And it's a 77, so he's out. That's an RN. RN says, I'll go G6X with a possible error. And there is no error. So he goes 6-3. to three, And we go to the bottom of the 7th with Jack Brohammer up. The Red Sox are up one nothing. And there is going to be a pitching change for the Orem Stoddard. Tim Stoddard is on the pitch. He is an RR14. Incredible. He is a 14. So he's going to have a lot of stamina to start with. We'll see how quickly the Red Sox cut into that, though. Jack Brohammer is the batter in the uh, bottom of the seventh to lead off the bottom of the seventh. That is a six, and it is on Brohammer's card, and that is a 61, which is an out, and he's an LN. And that is a G46X. Um, we'll check for the error. There isn't one. So um, that is, or four, G4. So that is a four to three. He is out. There is one down for the Red Sox with Rick Burleson back to the top of the order. That is a five, and that is on Stoddard's card. He is in control. That is a 35, and a 35 on his card is a strikeout. So that's two down. Burleson striking out here in the seventh. And Dwight Dewey Evans is the batter. That is an 8, so Dewey Evans is in charge, and it is a 37, and a 37 is a strikeout. So Dwight Evans strikes out. Tim Stoddard strikes two of the three men out that he faces and gets the other one uh, to ground out 4-3. So pitching a really good inning there. We go to the top of the 8th, where the Orioles are batting against. Uh, Louis Tiant, who still is, has been solid the last few innings, he hasn't given him anything. And uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, and Rick Dempsey is the batter here in the eighth. That is a seven. So Tiant is in charge. It's a 33, and a 33 is a strikeout. One away. Dempsey with the K. Belanger is up. So the weak hitting shortstop is the second batter. The one out already. That's a six. Tian is in charge. It's a 74. He's out. And that's an RN. And that is an all go F8. So he flies out to center. And that brings us to the top of the order and Pat Kelly. Pat Kelly, who later went on, I believe, to play for the Yankees. That is an 11, but we'll ignore it because nobody's on. So it is a 71. That means that he is out on his card. There is nothing there, so we will do this again. Um, he is an LP. LP is a G4, so ground ball with a possible error, and there isn't one. So he goes 4 to 3. And that's it for the Orioles in the 8th. They only have one more inning left, but we have the 8th inning um, at bat for the 78 Red Sox to see if they can pad their one nothing lead. And they will have Fred Lynn coming up to try to do that. Uh, 6, so that is um, on Fred Lynn's card, and it is a 75, which is an out. He's an LP. LP is all go G3 with a possible error. 
and it's a 7 to 10 so that is not an uh, error so he is um, he's out 3 to 1 with, with uh, Stoddard covering and um, Carlton Fisk is up that is an 8 so it's on Fisk card it's a 77 he is an RP I'll go GX2 and um, that is um, it is on his card so we'll check for the error there isn't one and so he is out um, grounding out to the catcher two to one or two to three and uh, that brings up Carl Yaz Yastrzemski trying to get the Red Sox another run to pad their lead it's a five it is on Stoddard's card, and it is a 21, and a 21 is a single to left field. Or wait a minute, no, it's a single to center field. So Yastrzemski with a single, that reduces Stoddard to a 13. And Jim Rice is, Jim Rice gets a 2, that's going to be Stoddard in charge. It is a 56. That is a walk so started a little wild there and he walks rice and so now the Red Sox have two on with two down and that reduces Stoddard to a 12 and George Scott is up George Scott that that's an 11 so that is a CD and that was a no action occurs return to normal play so it'll be off of George Scott's card and it is a 37 and a 37 on George Scott's card is a strikeout so he strikes out he ends the inning for the Red Sox and we go to the top of the ninth right now the Orioles need one run very badly to tie the game at least and two to go ahead uh, but Tiant has been unwilling to give them anything and Ken Singleton will be the guy who tries to lead them out. They do have the best part of their order coming up to try to do this with Singleton, Murray, and Lee May. Singleton gets a 6, so that is Tion in charge. It's a 55. That is going to be an out. He's an SP. SP is a G3 with a possible error. And error is none. So that's one out. And that goes 3 to 1, we'll say. So the Orioles are down to two outs, and uh, Eddie Murray out. Eddie Murray gets an eight, so he is the one that's in charge, but it is an 87, which is an out, and he's an SP. And uh, SP is a G3 with a possible error, um, and there is no error. So he goes three to one as well. And... Uh, that brings up Lee May. It's all up to Lee May to try to get them um, going or you know, keep, this, keep the inning alive. It's on Lee May's or on uh, Louis Tian's card, and it is a 72, which is an out. He is an RP. All go F4, and that is it. And that is your final score, uh, people. It is. Uh, the Red Sox winning the game by the score of one nothing over the 78 Orioles. Quite a game. Quite a game indeed.